and welcome to Kismet Rising. So today we're using the Wild Offering Oracle and I apologize for not being able to upload a, a weekly Oracle card guidance last week. I was on the road and uh, I wasn't able to, to get it all together, unfortunately. I did have the cards there, but I, I it was just too complicated to be able to do so. All right, and thank you for those of you who joined the live stream. It was really nice of you to, that, that you were there. And I tried to deliver a message for the full moon. Um, yes, I later deleted the video because I saw that it was really poor quality. I think it wasn't streaming well because the internet connection wasn't that good, etc. And so, um, yes, I will uh, at the end of this video leave a little message with regard to that uh, energy forecast. And so if you would like, you can just skip to that. In the meanwhile, we are doing a weekly oracle card guidance. We're using, as I said, the wild offering oracle. And you can choose the options uh, one, two, three, and you can go directly to your reading. All right, enjoy. Okay, and for those of you who've chosen the first option, we're asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? And please mind the very tight shot here. I just don't have my usual setup here. And this is the card. The card we have is courage, and the caption here reads, divine courage is not the absence of fear, but a nudge that says, keep going, do it, don't worry, all will be well. You have to get quiet enough to hear it. Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. Okay, so I think this card is really apt, especially for the energy that we have at the moment, because the energy that we have at the moment is really something that asks one to uh, step outside of one's a comfort zone to try something new to work towards something that you potentially wanted in your life and to have the courage to be able to do something that you wouldn't normally do to have the courage to stand up for something that you believe to be true uh, that is sitting in you something that you believe innately to be true for you and so I think that this card is really talking about having the the faith the faith having enough faith in the divine having enough uh, trust in the divine to have the courage uh, so that you can actually move ahead and do what it is that you know you need to do at this moment in your life. I think that it's really important to to put aside the worry, put aside the anxiety, put aside whatever is stopping you, whatever stands in the way of you doing what it is that you need to for yourself at this moment as well as for those around you and to be able to um, to walk a, a solid path to walk with strength uh, forward. I think here that um, it, there's this line here that says you have to get quiet enough to hear it. You know, I think a lot of uh, breathing exercises, going inward, being still with yourself is going to help you to put away some of the other uh, thoughts that you might have that may um, ir ir erode your, your courage, that might come in the way of you doing whatever it is that you need to do. For those of you who, who pray and who, who draw on prayer for your strength, I think it's an important time to be able to, to do more of that, to be able to ask, yeah, to, to ask. The prayer here is, Dear Divine, may I feel your courage and your will. And so I think it's important to to try to do that um, at this moment, to be able to call on that, especially when you're feeling flustered, when you're feeling like you're not sure of the way forward, or if you're feeling um, persecuted in any form or manner, to ask what is the way forward and to quieten yourself. Because what I feel here is that a lot of thoughts um, might be at the surface of your mind and they might be um, occupying your mind or keeping it busy. Uh, and not allowing the flow to come through, not allowing the divine will to flow through, to be able to give you what it is that you need at this time uh, in order to make the decisions or take the action that you need to take. And um, sometimes it's it's quite simple. It's just a matter of, of being still and putting away those, um, those thoughts, those thoughts that might be um, worrying you, causing frustration or bringing anxiety and just being still enough to allow that... Um, pouring of divine light into your being just for a moment just for a second just for a minute um, and to allow that to come in and and wash through you and give you that 
that guidance, give you that clarity that you need in order to be able to, to do what it is that you need to do next. I think having flex flexibility at this moment to understand that things might not necessarily go the way that you want it to, but the way that it does go is the way that it ne needs to go right now. So, you know, if you've had your heart set on going in a particular direction, but you went for and weren't able to for some, for whatever reason, uh, or doing something, you had your heart set on and on studying at a particular institution, you aren't able to get in, or or going somewhere and you're not able to get in, or getting a house or, or a home or a flat and you weren't able to have it there's a really really good reason behind this you know there's it's saving you from something that's really um that you can't see right now that's really dangerous for you or that could get you into a lot of trouble that could keep put you in in a space where you would be at the scene of a crime or something like this you know and that's just an example probably not a good one but the way they show it to me is that whatever path that you're being nudged to take at the moment, whatever path that you're being pushed along right now, as a result of not being able to go in the direction that you want to go in, for whatever reason, is going to be for your well-being and it's dangerous to try to push and go in that other direction. And yes, of course you could try um, to, if there's some means available for you to try to have, to get what you need, go ahead and try and use that. But I think that legally of course and you know fairly but I think that um, uh, the message here is that if if that you're getting a message more than once that you're not allowed to go somewhere you're not allowed to do something you're not allowed to have something just pay attention to that and see it as a gift from the divine because it's going to be quite um, quite good for you not to go in that direction it's going to be um, not in your best interest to go in that way and I think just having faith that it's all going to be okay. I feel the other the courage that we need needs to come from a space of quietness and stillness inside of us. It doesn't come from a space which is uh, full of fire and vibrance and charging forth. It doesn't come from that. It doesn't have that that knight of swords kind of uh, feel to it. It has more um, from the tarot that is, it doesn't, it has more of a feel of you know, where do I need to be guided to? In which direction do I need to be guided to now? As I go ahead, as I, I forge my path, as I am shown. And for some of you, if you're not sure where to go, if you're feeling cramped, if you're feeling suffocated, if you're feeling like you've been closed in on, I think that if that is a feeling that you have, I feel that this is really something that you need to do. You really need to get quiet and ask for divine guidance and see what comes up for you and just keep it open. You know, just try not to let your mind influence what's coming through to you because I think that that's going to make a big difference. Um, yeah, it's going to make a, definitely a big difference. More than anything, I think that this card is, is definitely encouraging you to... Um, to just go ahead and do what it is that you want to do and just have the courage to do it. You know, it might be something that you've been putting off for a really long time and uh, you've just decided to go ahead and do it right now. Oh, sorry, I just shook the table. Yeah, I think just go ahead and do whatever it is that you need. I think for those of you who are not needing to do anything, you're just going about your daily lives and um, you get this card courage. I feel that there's going to be a steel-like courage needed from you as you go along in this week. There's going to be a moment where you need to purse your lips and you need to actually just be silent about a particular matter because something it might be stirred up during the week and you might want to say something but you need to have the courage to just be you and be yourself but be not necessarily uh, antagonizing in any way or or um, argumentative in any way because that's going to work against you. It's about having the courage to just simply believe and have faith and, and trust in your own uh, and what is important for you. Apologies for that interruption. And so I think, yeah, ultimately it's about just uh, understanding that as the message here reads, um, that courage is something that is not, um, it doesn't mean that you're not afraid. You courage is actually born from fear it's born from being able to confront the fear and walk through it regardless of your fears and just still being able to do what it is that you need to do so um yeah and just about you know your weekly the weekly um interpretation for those of you who uh, are not needing to do anything or go anywhere or 
or not striving towards something. I think it's just simply just having courage in yourself and having courage in your own beliefs and um, having courage to have your own beliefs, having courage not to be swayed, having the courage to, to believe what you want to believe or believe what is resonant with you rather, not what you want, but what is resonant with you and um, to have the courage to stick to that and not to be swayed so easily. So I think that is the message um, for you, for those of you who've chosen option one this week. I wish you a very beautiful week ahead and um, many, many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the second option, we're asking what is our weekly Oracle card guidance? So we have the card perfectionism. It says, it reads, permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. Allow me, divine, to make as many mistakes as I need. Free me from the prison of perfectionism. So um, this card, it's very much talking about um, being able to change up, to be able to um, be flexible in terms of what you want and where you're heading to and what you're trying to do. It's, um, it's okay to plan something and to work towards that, but if it's not working out in that way, to be able to turn back and do something differently. There's, I think flexibility is really key to, to overcoming perfectionism here. I think that you know, if, you, um, if you find that you are trying to do something and you wanna do it to the best of your ability, but it's simply not allowing you to do that, you're simply not making it, it's just all kinds of things just keep coming up and you, you're trying to do it, but it's not working out. Um, and you feel like the need to com constantly go back and make it better, uh, constantly go back and, and work with it so that it gets better. I feel that this is actually um, more, more harmful to you and it's, great. it's more to your detriment. And you know, the, it reads here that um, permission to make mistakes is so freeing. It's the root of creativity and change. I think that if you allow things to just be, um, once you've felt satisfied with it, once you once you feel like, okay, I've come to the end, if you're creating something and you've come to the end of it, uh, to, rather than not necessarily look back and tweak it over and over again, because there might be something beautiful in there that somebody else would see and appreciate that you might not be able to appreciate. There might be some message in there for another person. And I think also that um, there is something that, uh, that's here, you know, you can make new connections and and um, meet people who are more in alignment with you if you are able to just be yourself without being perf perfect, without pushing perfection. I think also the old adage, you know, you can only learn if you make mistakes and mistakes are, making mistakes lead you to, um, to learning something or, or understanding something better. I think that those those um, things apply right now. In terms of um, how it applies to your week, I feel like if you really are feeling quite obsessed about getting something done very, very well, if you're feeling like you need to go back and redo it over and over again, just rather not do that this week. Just, you know, hand it in, give it in, submit it um, without, without needing to go back and tweak it all over again. I think it's gonna be better for you. I think also that, um, in many ways, just being the best that you can be in any given moment without trying to um, perfect something is is actually more real. It's more authentic, and it allows you to um, to really flow and blossom in yourself. And lessons are learned in that way, and lessons are learned in a way that helps you to go back to yourself and 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 just. Uh, learn something better than you ha would have had you gone back and just made it better uh, by yourself. I feel the need here is to not be so critical and not be so um, precise in this week. It's an, it's a need. This this week requ requires one to be more flexible, more easygoing. Yeah, I think it's definitely a week where the most flexibility, the most creativity, the most amount of. Um, going in the opposite direction, going 
in the wrong path, so to say, is going to be really freeing for you. It's going to be really helpful to you to be able to reach the levels of satisfaction and the levels of fulfillment and joy that you need at this moment. It's not about actually doing things according to the plan or 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 maybe maybe you've started doing something and then what happens is that it goes you know, you, it goes in a different direction. You need to allow it to go in that di different direction. Perhaps you've begun with a painting and it's not looking the way you wanted it to look, but it's okay that it isn't. It's okay because it, it's it's about the process of, of doing the, the painting itself and what it brings to you. And um, I think here it's very much, um, the feeling I'm getting for this card is that it's very much about you shining brightly and it's about you doing the best that you can without stressing yourself out, without causing yourself anxiety and this is what's going to shine brightly and beautifully to other people this is what's going to actually be lovely for you and um, it's going to be really helpful for you this week so I think it's a very simple message here for you um, it's simply don't try and do anything too perfectly this week allow a great deal of flexibility and uh, do allow yourself to be led in a direction that um, that you're being led and, and don't fight it just go go with the flow and and see where it brings you because this is more likely to help you create those um, creative connections and uh, and allow you to bring more more light and beauty into your life all right so um, I'm gonna leave it there for you for those of you who chose that option number two I think it's going to be a lovely week for you to be honest if you can just um, um, hold yourself back from trying to do something too perfectly and just to just to be able to enjoy the process as you go along all right wishing you a very blessed week so for those of you who've chosen option number three we're asking what is your weekly oracle card guidance what is your weekly oracle card guidance And the card for those of you who've chosen the option number three that's come out is impatience. And the caption reads, my life is unfolding in divine timing. All delays are beneficial. I'm always at the right place at the right time. So I feel like this card, it resonates also with the other options in this deck um, that we've chosen already for today. And it's really very much with the energy. It's really about, um, about just being okay with things not really working out. The way you necessarily want it to be and um and just you know allowing yourself to to settle down a bit settle into yourself and be in the moment and um just remove any sense of impatience that you may have because if you just allow yourself to calm down a bit and just listen to what's being offered to you at a given moment not what you've planned not what's in your head you're going to find that it's going to be so much more relaxing and so much more fulfilling, so much more joyous actually, and that you are able to to make connections perhaps with people or with with things, with nature, with with the world, in a way that you've not been able to previously. So I feel here that this is a week to really slow things down a lot and just really allow yourself to be in a moment with whatever it is that you're doing just go back to the simple things try to do as much of the simple things as possible if you eat out a lot and um, you or you do takeaways a lot try to do try to cook a home cooked meal this week try to spend time chopping vegetables and try, try to do something that's more um, that's slowing the pace down a bit it's trying to do something that just keeps you in the moment for a bit longer than you would usually be. I feel that this is a week where if you're trying to, if you're in a hurry, if you're trying to get somewhere really fast and you're trying to do something really fast, it's just going to backfire. It's just going to turn around on you. And so the best way to do things is just to do things almost like you um, slow down the pace, you know, by a, a fair deal, just so that you can be in the moment. It's really asking you to smell the roses at this moment. It's really asking you to take time to enjoy what is around you, enjoy the space that you're in, enjoy what you're eating, enjoy what you're smelling, enjoy the company that you're with, and you know, not necessarily be looking at your phone or at your device or something like that, just to be in a given moment at, at 
that time and put your full attention into one particular thing, one after the other, not necessarily putting your focus on, on too many things at once. Now, if you're the type of person uh, that spends a lot of time uh, just trying to do more than one thing at a time, uh, I certainly am, then I think that this card for you this week is going to be, uh, it's going to tell you not to do that. Just this week, try to do one thing at a time. Try, try not to multitask at, at this time. It's not going to work in your favor. This card gives me a feeling, very Mercury retrograde kind of feeling, and I know that we're out of it. I think we almost out of the shadow. I'm not really sure um, right now, but it gives me the sense that things can go wrong quite easily if you are in a hurry, if you're feeling overzealous and you just want to get to a certain place at a certain time where you want to do something, you want to just hand in that work, you want to upload that video, you want to, you know, you want to do something, it's just going to not work out so well. So I think just take your time, slow down a hell of a lot and then just see where it takes you from there. I think the most important thing here to realize is that everything is working in divine timing and that we can trust in that. We can actually say, you know what, the way things are working out is the way it's meant to be and it's the best way to for it to be. And um, yeah, I think it's it's okay for, 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 for one to just surrender to that, just to allow yourself to fall into the arms of the divine and allow it to transport you and hold you and uh, just absorb some of the stress that you might have and some of the worries that you might have uh, for not handing in something on time or not being able to get something done as quickly as you'd wanted it to, to get done. Just be chilled, relaxed and, uh, and understand that whatever delays they are are to your benefit as it says in this card and just to allow yourself to go into that space a little bit longer. Yes, we are always at the right place at the right time. You are meant to be where you are right now and I'm meant to be where I am right now. And this is the most comforting feeling just to let go of that anxiety that you might have, that you needed to be here, or you needed to be there, or you want to be in a different space. Just to understand that right now is where you're meant to be. And of course, if you need to move on from where you are to make plans to be able to do that and allow the universe to open its path for you. All right, I'm going to leave this card there. I don't think there's much else to be said here. I feel that this deck is very much on the nose, you know, very much giving you the messages that you need to hear. And there's not much for me more to extrapolate from these cards. Um, I think ultimately for you, it's going to be a good week that you are going to find that if you slow things down a little bit, that it's going to be more lovely, more joyful, um, more pleasant rather than if you are not slowing things down. And ultimately, it's going to be a good, a smooth week for you. All right, so I'm leaving that there. So thank you very much for those of you who've come by. I hope that this has been a good reading for you and I wish you a very lovely time ahead. Now, now I just want to um, briefly speak about the, um, the energy um, as we've had it in the last uh, weeks and as we go along. So this full moon has brought us a lot of time of reflection. It's brought us a lot of time of maybe things not working out the way we needed it to work, uh, but things ultimately working in our favor because this full moon that we've just had now and uh, till the next full moon that we have, this time is a period of where we're going to be moving more and more towards what our soul is yearning for, more and more towards what we are meant, where we are meant to be, and with people that we are meant to be, with our soul tribe. And there's a real push right now for us to break all boundaries, get out of our comfort zone, and move towards that which is actually feeding our soul and giving our soul what it is that it needs. And so I think that you might be feeling that energy already and you will continue to feel that energy in the next month. And whatever it is that you do with regard to that or in support of that is going to be supported by the universe and by the divine forces. So I think just go ahead, put your heart behind what it is that would feed you, will nurture you, will help your soul feel well in this world. And um, put you, put all of your your um, your energy behind that and see where it takes you uh, at this moment. 
I feel also that um, there's a time where you're either moving towards family or moving away from family. If you've been spending a lot of time with your parents or your family in this last while um, and you're an adult, I think that it might be the time for you to walk away a little bit or create some space, some distance between yourself and your parents just because there's a moment where you need to be able to give something to yourself and not play a role of being a child to your parents. And likewise, for those of you who aren't with your parents, you might feel the need to go back home, to revisit your hometown, to um, go back and just be under the eyes of your parents for a while and just be, be in that energy, even if it's not a place where you feel most comfortable, even if it's a place which you may avoid, it feels like the month ahead is going to be a time where you might be moving towards that. The other message here that I mentioned already in the uh, in the previous the live stream that I did is that if you've been gaining a lot of weight over the last years, uh, you're going to find that you start to lose it quite rapidly now. And if you've been losing a lot of weight and you've been um, uh, not at your ideal weight in the last couple of years, you're going to find that you're going to start gaining that weight again and you're going to be feeling a lot healthier and a lot better in your body. It's just a time where there's a lot of release of toxins and a, and a, and a taking in of good energy and taking in of, of healthy, um, of healthful food and, and well-being. And I feel like your body's going to be, it's going to be finding it easier to process um, healthier foods and to be able to extract vitamins also from foods that might not um, at first glance appear healthy. I think uh, ultimately the message as we go along is simply to surrender to our what is our soul asking us to do to surrender to our soul purpose just to hear what the soul is is asking for and to just be at one with that okay so i'm going to leave that there for you i hope that that helps you as you go along and sending you much love and many many blessings on your way blessings abound from kismet rising